Hello and welcome to FTL, Faster Than Light. This is that game I was telling you about, that has two names in its title. But I'll forgive it this one time, because I want to play it right now. Here we are, at the main menu, and if you didn't know, this is by Subset Games, as you can see down here, and it's a spaceship simulator, but it's also a roguelike in space. So it's a little bit weird like that, but it is a ton of fun. I've played a couple of times now, a couple of normal games, and I keep dying. My entire spaceship gets burnt to ashes, or my crew suffocates, or rebels capture and kill me, I don't even know, okay? I don't know how it keeps happening, but I keep dying. And that's a lot of fun. So, right now, we're gonna jump in and do the tutorial, because I feel that if I know what's going on, it doesn't mean that you guys know what's going on, and I probably won't be able to explain everything as well as they do in the tutorial. So we're gonna jump into the tutorial, do it quickly, and then jump into a normal mission after that. The really fun part about doing a normal mission is that you get to name your ship and your crew members. I had so much fun with it. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that, okay? Welcome to FTL. They should have voice acted this. I should have done the voice acting for this. You are the captain. <laughs> I shouldn't have done the voice acting. I'm bad at reading. So, you're the captain of a Federation starship on a very important mission. Yes. Yes, I think I am. The Federation is currently being torn apart by vicious rebels. Your ship is carrying data, vital to the defense of the Federation. They throw that Federation word around a lot, don't they? You will be traveling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with the rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the exit beacon of each sector before the rebels can catch you. Your ship, the Kestrel, is the focus of the typical game view. It's not actually the Kestrel. This is the Luminati. <laughs> That's the name I've chosen for the ship because I thought it was really fitting. And, whoa, you guys are gonna love the crew members. You just wait. You just wait for that. When I get, get to name, now I've got Lana and Wei Xing and Mara and Chris. Really? Chris with a Z? Really? Fine. Fine, Chris. Continue. The circular icons at the bottom of the screen are your ship's primary systems. These ones here. Not that there. Systems use power. Oh, that's where the arrow is. Okay, pointed out by the arrow. Oh, you silly tutorial. You sit making me look like a fool here. Systems use power from the reactor. That's the reactor right there. Uh, these are your ship's subsystems. Unlike systems, they do not require power from the reactor. But they can still get destroyed. Hover your mouse over any system icon to get more information about the system. Okay, piloting. Requires a crew member to evade in combat or jump. Status, fully powered, manned by crew. Each system's corresponding room will light up. Oh, oh, does it? Oh, there we go, okay. So it does. So it does. Okay, anyway. Carry on. The hull meter, this is a big problem for me always. For some reason, just out of nowhere, my ship is dead. The hull, hull health is like all the way down here, and I take one shot and it all just falls apart. It's terrible. The hull meter, shield level, and current resources are in the top left. If your hull meter is reduced to zero, your ship will explode. <laughs> yes, yes, that it will. That it will. We should get going, but it looks like your engines are currently powered down. Green system boxes are powered, white system boxes are unpowered, and providing no benefit to the Kestrel. Left click it to power it. Uh, left click the engine system icon, and power will transfer from your reactor into your engines. I love this. I love it. It makes you feel like a real ship captain. Try to keep your vital systems fully powered. Right click to depower a system if you want to reroute its power. Okay. Don't need those shields anyway. <laughs> it's funny, the shields are actually the upgrade that I tend to go for first. Anyway, okay, okay. Oh no! Engine room 2 took some damage. Its system icon has become red to show it's broken. Your hull meter has also taken 2 damage. I see that. Your crew cannot repair the ship's hull, but they can fix the engines. Okay, which ship member is gonna go? Lana's apparently the captain. That's very- Chris, you sound like you can fix an engine. Get out there. You do that. Try sending your crew member to the engine room. Look at him. 
and leisurely stroll to the end. Listen, maybe Mara should go and help him. Crew members will automatically repair systems, fight fires, fix breaches, and fight intruders in their room. Fighting low oxygen and fire will hurt the crew. Okay, come on you guys, get that fixed up. As we're opening these doors and <laughs> depressurizing the room. Crew members will automatically repair systems, fight fires. I saw that already. Okay. Awesome. Your engines are now repaired. Notice that repaired systems will automatically try to repower themselves to their lost power state. Good. Jolly good. Some systems can be manned by crew members to provide a small bonus to the system. Crew members will automatically man any functioning systems in their room. The silhouette above the power bars show... I wonder what kind of... That's one thing I didn't actually quite look at. Like what you get extra. Manning increases dodge chance. What does it do here? Currently unmanned. Oh, there we go. There it says so. Manning increases shield recharge speed. Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, that's why I always have someone in the shield room. Always. Well, almost always. When I don't, I'm generally dead. <laughs> Crew members will automatically man any functioning system in the room. So do it. Okay. Done. Oh, no! Okay. The fire is broken out in your starboard airlock. You could send your crew members to put the fire out, but let's take advantage of the airlock. Open the doors. There you go. Get out of here, fire. I didn't want you anyway. I love the graphics of this game. I think it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Opening doors allows them to drain sections of your ship of oxygen and put out fires. Okay. Rooms turn pink. As oxygen drains out, your oxygen systems will slowly refill the ship once leaks are gone. Close that up. Fill that up. Good. Now that your engines are fixed and the fires are out, we should FTL jump to our next location. Jumping requires a crew member in the piloting system. Good, good. Lana's on it. Each jump consumes one fuel, which is over there. Uh, without fuel, you'll be stranded and unable to jump. Click on the jump button to continue. This is the beacon map. A ship marks your current location. Hover your mouse over a location to get more information about it. Left click on a connecting node to travel there now. There's no information here. Let's go to... Let's go be a chancer and go to this one. Perfect. What do we have here? Except for the blue planet. Whoa, 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 what is this? I totally forgot about this. I haven't seen this once yet. And usually you can't see crew members on the enemy ships. Every new location will have an event like this. It's not always like this, actually. Sometimes there's absolutely nothing. You might have multiple choices available to you at any event. In this example, a weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. Special blue choices like these are unlocked by having a certain, uh, by having certain upgrades or equipment. They are nearly always a good choice. I'll take this then. Welcome to combat. Okay. What? What? I just skipped that. Okay. But it said you can pause by pressing spacebar at any time. That's what I always do. I always, when combat starts, I spam that spaceball button as quick as I can. Pause that combat. I want to make sure I know what's going on. You need to power your weapon to fight. Yes. The amount of power required is pictured in the weapon box marked below. Left click on it to power it. A powered weapon turns white. Right click, depower it. You can actually also press 1. There you go. To power it. Dual lasers. Left click on a powered weapon to arm it, then target a room in the enemy ship. Left clicking on it, uh, by left clicking on it. You can also use the hotkeys 1 to 4 to access your weapons. The weapons will fire when locked on and charged. Make sure the game is unpaused. I'm gonna target... Hmm. Their shields. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. What happens if I get a crew member in there? Is it gonna help? Hey, hey, hey. hey. There. Manning reduces charge time. Oh, perfect. Perfect. There we go. Bam, bam. Take that. Oh, oh no. Your two-shot laser cannot penetrate the pirate's level two shields. But luckily, he can't get through your shields either. Oh, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa. Don't just sit there, Wei Xing. Wei Xing's got some sort of crush on Lana because she's the pirate, obviously. The pirate. The captain. Not the pirate. She might be a pirate too, but who's to say? Okay, now. Every two powered bars in your shield system nets you one more shield. That's the shield over there. I've got two powered bars right now, so that's one. Glorious. Okay, continue. You've been given a missile launcher now. Shooting it expends your missile's reserves, but missiles pierce through all enemy shields. Use your missile to damage the enemy shield system, then your lasers can get through as well. Come on, Artemis. 
Let us do this. Go for the shield system. It's actually pretty crazy how much stuff there is to do in combat. Just in combat. So once that shoots, I'll shoot this as well. There you go. Bam! <laughs> oh, man. These guys are seriously outgunned right now. Take that. Take that with my Optimus missile. And there we go. Bam, bam. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I feel kind of bad. You destroyed the pirate ship. You know, there was one little captain. He was man in his own ship. He was the captain, the crew, and everything else. And then I just shot him out of the sky. Or her. Actually, that might have been a her. Oh, I feel kind of bad about that. You destroyed the pirate ship. As salvage, you gained some scrap and a weapon. Scrap 100, weapon, Halbert be Hellburn Beam. Okay, I'll take it. Your weapons or drones are added to your cargo if there's no more room in their respective system. Okay. Left click on the ship info screen so we can equip your new weapon. Amazing. I like it. Are we gonna, are we gonna replace that one? This is your equipment screen. You can see more detailed information about your weapons, drones, or augments by mousing over them. Dual shot laser. Oh! No augmentation, sadly. That is quite sad. Click and drag on your new Halburn beam to replace either of your current weapons, then hit accept. What does this do? Huh. Can it penetrate shields? Beam damage is reduced by one... Oh, okay, so that should actually be there. That should be there. Much better. But how much power does it take? Three! Wow. Okay. Now. Oops. Your weapon system, max power two, is not upgraded enough to support your new weapon. Power requirement three. Open your ship screen back up so we can fix this. Okay. This is the upgrade screen. You can see detailed information about your systems and upgrade them by spending scrap in caps. You can also upgrade your reactor at the bottom of the menu, which is important for keeping everything fully powered. Okay. Bam. Here we go. How many do I need? To upgrade it, then click accept. No, I want to upgrade this as well. There you go. Accept. And now, power your new weapon. There we go. Wow, look at it. Final tip. You can rearrange your weapons in the weapon system toolbar by clicking and dragging. That I can. Good. Good. It actually swaps them around there. Wow, okay. Huh. Nice. If your weapon system is damaged, this order determines the order that they are depowered. Oh, so it's kind of important. You should probably have your missiles first. That's it for the basics. Good luck out there. Press continue to quit this tutorial. I think I'll do that. So, that's pretty much it for the basics, as they said. And when you start a new game now, okay, you get to choose a whole bunch of interesting stuff, like your first three crew members. You start with three. But you also get to choose, and I haven't actually unlocked any other ships yet, which is sad, but you get to choose your ship here as well. I don't know how you unlock these other ships, how long it takes, how difficult it is, but some of these look really cool. Like, really, really cool. This looks like a battlecruiser kind of thing. From StarCraft. That just looks, that looks badass. Okay. Stealth cruiser. Man! Do want. Do want. And, and a rock cruiser? Anything with rock in the name is fine by me. And this one, wow. 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 Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, what are all these things? The famous Mantis Thief. Kazakh Pleklik owns the ship. You'll have to convince him to help you. Oh, this ship is being built near the NG homeworlds. To unlock it, you'll need to help them, but keep in mind, they only trust their own kind. Man, that's intense. You see, there are like little sub-stories and mini-quests going on inside the main game that will keep you busy for ages. Because obviously you want these. You want to know what these look like. It's absolutely amazing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So right now you've only got the Kestrel, but you can rename it. Of course. And you can actually choose type A or B. Once you unlock type B. Okay. Oh, here we go, here we go. Complete two of three to unlock a layout. Hmm. Have every system and subsystem installed on the Kestrel at once. 
Have six unique aliens on the kit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aliens. I've not gotten that far yet. <laughs> Tough little ship. As the Kestrel Cruiser, repair back to full health when... Oh, with one HP remaining. Jeez Louise. What do I look like here? Goodness. And you can choose your difficulty. I'm going to play on normal when I do play because I feel it's silly going on easy. But that's about it. In the next mission, you're going to want to see the next video. Okay? I'm going to create my crew, the ship, and everything else. And we're going to set off on a grand space adventure. So check back here soon for that. Most importantly though, happy completing the tutorial in FTL. Faster than light. Happy that.